Hello and welcome back to Demo Days. This is where I pick out some demos of upcoming games that are available through Steam and we give them a check and we see if they're great and if they deserve to stay on the wish list or not. I guess those are really the only two options. Here, you're staying or you're going. One of the one of the two. Today's game is Dungeon Clar. I have seen a YouTuber by the name of Angor Tom from the Yogg's cast who played this game. He plays a lot of roguelike dungeon crawler type games. And this one was very interesting. It was a claw machine based dungeon crawler where you have the different things that you use to fight, like your deck that you're building, but it's all in a claw machine. And how you get it, instead of like drawing cards, you just claw machine mechanic it. And that's the, the weapons and stuff that you have. So it's got a real good luck based system into it. And it looked really interesting as a concept. And um, when I saw it on the Summer's Fest preview, I went, oh, oh, like the Leonardo DiCaprio meme. That's that one game that Angor Tom played. I should definitely add that to my wish list and uh, pick up the demo. I actually think it was already on the wish list. I just had to pick up the demo for it. But today's the day that we're going to get to try it out. Let's go over to the Steam store page, see what it says. Dungeon Claw is a roguelike claw machine deck builder. Build your unique deck, fight enemies by grabbing weapons and items from the claw machine, and find special artifacts that help you on your quest to reclaim something you lost. Aim carefully to claw your way through this dungeon. The tags that it uses are as early access, action, roguelike deck builder, and 2D. I mean, early access is, yeah, I get that. That's clear, clearly. Uh, I wouldn't even really consider it a early access game just because the game's not out yet. I mean, a demo for everything, I wouldn't really give as a uh, an early access to the game. Early access, I would believe, would be like um, releasing the game without its final build. This isn't a release of the game. This is just a portion of it. Uh, they have a planned release for quarter four of 2024, so that's usually like the last three months of 2024. Maybe Christmas. Maybe that's what we'll be getting for Christmas, this Dungeon Claw. But it looked like a really fun game. I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot. So without further ado, let's get in the game. Uh, slot one. So we have characters. I think we can only play as one. Sir Bunalot. Sir Bunalot used to be a knight, but he gambled away all his coins and fell from grace. He is now on a quest to reclaim his lucky paw, which was chopped off by the evil Dungeon Lord. The deck consists of 10 daggers, 10 small shields, one big shield, and one small shield. Uh, your health is increased by 10, start of each turn with 5 block. Oh, we can play somebody else. We can play as Scrappy. Uh, Scrappy is Sir Bunalot's strange cousin who's obsessed with metal, probably because he grew up on a scrapyard. Or, on the scrapyard. You also get a reward for completing the run. Magnet Claw. The first claw next turn will be a big magnet and attract all metal items. Nice. Did he have anything for that? He did not. So you complete a run with Scrappy, you get this. Uh, the second claw is always a big magnet. Get one strength if you collect at least five metal items at once. And he starts with five daggers, ten small shields, one big shield, and one small shield. He gets five less daggers. Oh, there's quite a few characters here. Count Clawula, Dolly, which is doesn't look like they're available just yet. Benny Beaver. Reach 40 block in one run to unlock Benny. Deal 20 damage to yourself in one turn to unlock Dolly. Uh, Bernie, amass over 500 coins in one run to unlock Bernie. And then Sir Bundalot again. Uh, we're going to go stick with just with Sir Bundalot. Uh, if you want to explore the other characters, you absolutely can through the demo. That's cool. I didn't know that they had those. Uh, how to play. 
collect items using your claw to fight enemies, hover your mouse cursor over things to get more information, use WASD to move on the map, use the A and D keys to move your claw, press space to drop the claw, press space to close the claw manually, which is optional. Press backspace to skip your turn, which is also optional. You can change the game speeds in the setting. All right, let's start. We're fighting ice slimes. Enemy intends to increase its block, so they're going to go up and block. I think we need to focus on doing some attacks. I want to go in and just grab the big sword right off the bat. Bam! There we go. Got all four of them. Increase our block, which really doesn't really matter. Uh, they still haven't increased their block. Let's go right here. Two daggers. Bam, dagger. Bam, dagger. Now it's the enemy's turn. They've increased their block. They're not going to attack me. So I think we need to get our shields up. I'm going to grab the big shield. Got some daggers to kind of whittle away a bit on their shield. There we go. Took one out. We have enough to block the seven attack. So now that their shield is down, let's see if we can't get that big old sword or small big sword. It's pretty big for a small sword, but then again, this is a small character. Uh, they want to increase. I don't want them to. Oh, lost a dagger. There we go. Went through that with flying colors. Ooh, the sickle's shiny and is, is catching my attention. Uh, we can get another dagger, a laser pointer, which forces your pets to attack the nearest enemy for one damage. We don't have a pet. A uh, sickle attack the nearest enemy for 15 damage. Has a 30% chance to deal critical damage. We definitely got to pick up that sickle. All right, we're about to get hit with uh, 12, and then this person's going to defense up. I think we should definitely worry about getting our defense up. Let's see if we can't get that big shield. Got a dagger. Boop, boop. There we go. So we're safe from that. Uh, let's get the sickle. Can we get it? We got it. Bam, bam, taken out. We're now taking no damage. Uh, this person plans on attacking us for seven. We need to get some shields. Let's see. I want to get shield and dagger. Or should I just go straight for the big shield? Let's just go straight for the big shield. Boom. Thought we were going to lose one dagger. All right. We're safe from attack. Uh, give me that sickle. No, they don't have any shields. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. They got three life left. They're done. They're done. Give me that. Oh, that sickle's just hanging on. Booyah. We win. Oh, another sickle. Thermometer attacks the nearest enemy, dealing half damage for each missing health you have. We've been doing pretty good on health. And an energy drink converts all block into strength at a 4 to 1 conversion rate. Let's do a sickle. Let's two sickle. We're double sickling. Uh, let's go ahead and play. See what we get. Oh, just whatever the first two that fall out, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Or maybe I only get to pick two. Pick your reward. Do you want hard hits? Increase critical hit chance by 5% or berserk? Gain one strength every time you take damage. We haven't really been taking any damage. So hard hits. It's not to say that it can't happen. I'm just saying we've been pretty good so far. Uh, they're going to focus on getting their defenses up. So I'm going to focus on attacking them. Get both sickles. Yeah. A two sickle shot. Booyah, get out of here. Let's see if we can't get the small sword. Uh, can't really tell. Let's do that. Oh, no, we didn't get it. Got the shields. Which we really didn't need. 
All right, they're going to attack us for seven. I need to get at least one shield. And I think if I can get there, I might be able to get at least one. All right, well, we did it. We got double the sickles, double the fun. I mean, if I just hit him with one dagger, he's, he's done. So just wrap us up some stuff. Oh, <laughs> I lost both the daggers, but we got our shields and we're safe. Give me that sickle, boy. Take him out. Oh, I'm going to lose that sickle, aren't I? Oh, okay. It just stayed in there. There we go. Take a reward. We can get a magic wand. Attack the last enemy for five damage and heals you for five to ten health. An antidote, which removes all stacks of poison from you. A piggy bank, which rewards two to five coins when you collect it. Um, I'm going to take the piggy bank. Ooh, look at this. All right, let's see if we can go for these two piggy banks. Ooh, last coin on the way. Nice, piggy banks are worth 10. All right, boss battle time. What's it gonna do? Brickwood, this enemy intends to buff itself. All right, that's your intention. Let's get some weapons. See if we can't do a massive amount of damage to it. Uh, I want to get this sickle. I don't know if I'm going to, though. Ooh, looks like we are. Dagger, sickle. What's the thorns do? Deals one damage to the attacker when being attacked. So I'm going to take a damage. I wonder if that will protect me from shield. All right, it's also going to do six damage to me. So we need to get a shield. See if I can get this big shield and sickle. Oop, nope, we can get the sickle, but we did get a shield. All right, and doing that one damage will count for my shield. Uh, let's take this. Oh yeah, mixtures of shields, attack, attack. We did great. That was a neat, very smooth boss battle. Uh, Metamalists get two strength if there are no items left in the machine at the end of your turn. That hardly happens. Dodgy, each time you dodge an attack, deal 10 damage to the attacker. That hardly happens. Golden armor, increase maximum health by two for each 10 coins you own. That happens. What's this? Anko machine, use your coins to gamble for new items. The blacksmith, use your coins to upgrade items. Upgrading items sounds wonderful. Cracked floor, the floor will break when walking over this crack and create a deep hole preventing you from walking over it again. Okay, so I can't go back. Into a fight. Oh, there's a lot of things happening here. Uh, boot shroom, the enemy intends to add items to the machine. Rude. Uh, Wizclops, this enemy intends to heal itself and others. And this one's going to hit me for 12, so I need to get a big old shield. Give me that shield. We got only one dagger. Oh, it's on the edge. We didn't get any dagger. Look at it just balancing right there. Uh, let's try and hit it with a sickle. Knock that dagger in. Is that dagger just going to sit there the entire game now? Oof, look at all the damage coming our way. And then a healer. So much we've taken. 27 damage. We gotta we gotta fix this. And then all these things are in here now. Poisonous spores, so we gotta watch out for those. Oh, we only got that shield and a small dagger. We gotta get that big shield. We gotta get a few shields. There we go, and I knocked the dagger in, too. Oh, we took one damage. It's the first time taking damage. All right, let's see if we can't get both of these. Nope, we're just getting the big old shield. Safe from damage. Ah, it's 
really hoping I could pick that up. Oof, things back to full health. And we're just getting more and more little poisonous spores added to our machine. I'm gonna go over here, pick all this up. Uh, let's see if we can't get the big shield. Whew, cool thought I was gonna pick up some poisonous spores. We're safe. We are just not really making much of a difference here. Yeah, get that poisonous spore out of here. I gotta take this guy out. I think I just need to do a lot of damage to him. Both of them attack, I need to heal up. Or not heal up, defense up. Uh oh, we picked up a spore. And we took damage. And we're gonna continue to take damage. Oh no, poison spore and a shield. This is terrible. Is this where we're gonna we're gonna lose it? Had I done this earlier on, it wouldn't have been as bad. But they keep healing this guy like right back to full again. And then I'm just gonna keep poisoning myself because there's so many spores in the machine. Damn. Is there any making a comeback from this at all? Probably not. Oof, poison, poison. Give me weapons. I need weapons. I think this may just be the end of us. This might be a uh, one run and done. We got to take that little guy out. He's like a major cause. Major, major problem. Let's get a bunch of these daggers. Look at that. Bam, bam. You're not going to damage me if you're not around. That guy's still going to damage me, though. All right. Time for two steps forward, one step back. <laughs> All I got was a poison spore. That's terrible. Get that sickle. poison I see that being the thing that takes us out boom 30 damage yep but hey because we took so much damage to ourselves we've unlocked dolly <laughs> we reached floor two damaged ourselves like crazy and now we have dolly because we're a masochist so there you have it that is dungeon clawer i would do another run unfortunately it's going to make me go over 30 minutes if i do so but this is a very fun roguelike mechanic type thing i can't wait till the full build comes out so i can kind of see what else they have available if there's ways to get different types of items or unlocks you know how dungeon roguelike dungeon crawlers kind of deck 
builders, whatever work, how they work. It's like you lose, you get points, you use those points to unlock different things, and then you go back into another run a tad bit stronger than you were before. I enjoy these types of games a lot. Big thumbs up, though. Glad I have it on the wish list, and I'm looking forward to when it releases. So, yeah, that's the game. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.